All right, hey Mo from Powerline Industries, how the heck are you? It's uh, 20, 2020, had to think for a minute. Got a machine under pressure here. Always let your pressure off. I wanna go through a quick startup and operation of the new GX800 fuel injected high torque Honda unit. Everybody loves Honda, we love Honda, uh, but in this range, I really like the Honda. If, if you like Honda, it gets a little better fuel economy than our 35 horse power Vanguard, but the torque is what you buy an engine for. The torque's similar. So we're able to achieve a little higher output on this brand new GX800 fuel injected motor. Uh, again, we're one of the first ones in the US to have it, and it is CARB certified, C-A-R-B, California Air Resource Board certified. So if you're in Cali, this unit's compliant. If you've got air regulations in your district and you're buying it for your municipality, this is about as clean air unit as you can get for a hot water power washer to keep your fleet clean. For mobile wash guys, I think the fuel economy's nice. If you love Honda, we got it. In the past, we haven't, we're not super fans of the GX690. It's only 22 horse. Our Vanguard 23 horse is solid rock rock solid and so is the 35 but i still like the honda this new one uh you can kind of hear the engine i want to run this real quick i want to show quick operation i know i'm under pressure always check to see if you're under pressure i'm gonna let that pressure off wow so the on off valves back here that's the off position that's the on position if you ever hear it bind up when you go to start or it goes usually means these valves need to be opened up. So I like to start this unit with the uh, trigger pulled and uh, the, the line on to whichever line you're gonna feed. I'm gonna show single operation. Uh, this unit, we can build it on a single or tandem axle. We have the best trailers in the business. Take a look at this trailer. Got 3,500 pound axles, two of them, so it'll haul 7,000. Look at the look at the reinforcement for the fenders because they rattle off on other units. It's not a wood deck. I mean, wood decks are nice, but diamond plate steel decks just that much better. Check out the size of our heater. I see really small heaters on other units, and uh, I see cheap regulator valves on other units. I see cheap pumps. Sometimes they're go general, sometimes not. I think comparing an apple to an apple is really important in this industry. We got a custom made toolbox that's higher than normal store bought. So you do get a good deflection going down the road. I don't want to deflect too far off of the inlet for the air because these are air cooled engines in these classes, class of motors. Um, we do have a larger exhaust on this, so there's not much restriction on the exhaust. Uh, we double filter. We also got an uh, EVAP catch tank for the, for the fuel system. Nobody in the U.S. has that large battery box. I mean, it's easy to cut corners if, for a manufacturer if you want, but um, is that what you really want? People buy from us because they want quality. Uh, again, this that new GX, IGX 800. The horsepower is rated about 28. However, the torque, again, is really close to our 35 horsepower. So we're running, ideally, on this unit, eight gallon at 3,000. I know the pressure varies depending upon elevation. However, the fuel injection will run better at the higher elevations, okay? Other next startup feature, I want to make sure we're off on the burner control box. And we've got lights that indicate power on, fuel on, which is really nice. The other nice thing is you don't have to choke a fuel injected motor. I'm going to go ahead and turn the switch on. It activates the fuel pump. I'm going to pull the trigger. I got the trigger pulled. I'm going to set the fuel about, oh, 25% on right there that pop recycles the water back to the tank so we got a full loop system 
We're one of the developers of that system. Now I'm going to go ahead and turn on the, turn it up a little bit. Ooh, that motor's ready to go. I'm going to go ahead and give it the gas. Well, you can hear the, you can hear the torque in that motor if you don't trip on the hose. Safety, safety. We're going to kind of clean this area off. I want to show the power this thing's got. And that's that's just serious power. Unbelievable. Right up there with our 35. That's impressive. We'll go up. Why don't we cut this pallet up a little bit? We like to cut up pallets. I got my glasses on. Now, if I had a zero, <clears throat> zero tip, I could probably slice right through there. That also shows you how to follow our safety procedures. Whatever you do, be safe, my friend, as they say. Stay thirsty. <laughs> be safe. Stay thirsty. Man, I love running power equipment. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and cool this unit down. Always start the burner after it's running, shut the burner off, and then let it cool down. Well, I'll show you how that's done. Come on around this way maybe, Freddy. We're going to let this unit cool down. For two minutes. That's the rule. It's burning at 2100 degrees in there. That's 10 times boiling. So the inside of the coils, to keep them clean, you got to cool the machine down. Let that pressure off. When you're done, let that pressure off. That's how you shut that unit down. Antifreeze, you'd want to shut the water tank off, turn on the antifreeze, run the machine till the antifreeze comes out the end, let go of the trigger for a second, shut her off. You've, you've put her to bed for antifreeze. I like this system. I like the design. Proud of our guys, our team. And uh, if you got any questions, just call us anytime. We'd, we'd love to get one right out. We can ship anywhere. Anywhere, anywhere. Trucks go everywhere. The road's everywhere, right? All right. Take care. Thank you.